Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Charles, AKA The Plant Bender. And today's video is actually going to be a fun one. I am going to be doing my February plant haul. I went a little crazy in February and decided to really grow my collection. Um, I did buy a couple larger plants, but most of the plants I added to my collection are small starter plants in small nursery pots. Um, I did that because I don't have a ton of space. I know these plants are gonna grow. If you're familiar with my videos, you're familiar with the hutch I usually have behind me. Most of the, all of these smaller plants live in that hutch right now. They are currently getting great humidity, lighting, getting healthy root systems so that they can grow into mature plants. I also don't have the space for all of them right now. So them being small and living in the hutch gives me a chance to figure out where they're all going to go. So let's jump right into our my February plant haul that I did this month, starting with my first plant I got this month. Um, I got all these at different times in February, so some of them have already put out new leaves, some of them are already growing, things like that. But that is the Philodendron Yopii, I believe it's how it's pronounced. This guy is stunning. Um, He's actually a really nice size here. He's like the perfect size. I actually was expecting a smaller plant when I ordered this and it is beautiful. Um, when it already has two new leaves growing and I think I got this probably two weeks ago, shipping was super fast from the seller. Um, if I can remember who I bought it from, I'll insert their Etsy shop here somewhere. But beautiful plant can't wait for this guy to mature look at these leaves i mean come on they're already beautiful and he is just a baby it's just a baby so i'm hoping by the end of the year along with all these other plants or specifically summer that they are a lot healthier and bigger specimens so that is the first buy of this month the next one is this beauty, my Philodendron Melanochrysum. Um, bought this guy, did not have this leaf when I got him. It only came with these leaves here. And it did have another leaf, but it broke off in shipping. And as you can see, this leaf, honestly, I need to just cut it off. It's dead, it's not a good leaf, it broke in shipping. But this new leaf did come in a little bit deformed, which I'm not surprised considering it was shipped from Florida, I believe. And I do live in Pennsylvania, you know, so it did go through some serious shipping, but it's healthy, its root, root system was great. And I cannot wait to get this guy on a pole and get a beautiful mature plant. So the Philodendron Melanochrysum, another plant added this month. A few moments later. This is a plant that I bought I bought one, this is a Sissus Discolor, and I bought one probably a year ago from a shady plant shop that I've mentioned before in my town that is now closed down. And within the matter of days, the whole plant just died. It just died. So I added this one back to my collection to try to get it to grow. Um, it's in all, most of these are in kind of like a sphagnum moss right now or orchid moss right now to get some healthier roots kind of help them with their traveling transition and stuff until they, you know, start to put out some new leaves. But yes, the Sissus Discolor. I'm very excited about this because it is a vining plant, which I love, but it's a little different than like your pothos and things like that. So Sissus Discolor, look how gorgeous this thing is. We are going to do, now I believe, okay, so I believe this is the, I believe this is the Plowmani, the Philodendron Plowmani that I ordered. Um, it is a little guy, but when they become mature, they are stunning. It does look a little sad. I just put him in some sphagnum moss. I just got him actually today. So he's still, you know, in shock from traveling, but it does have a new leaf opening up and it does look pretty healthy. So pretty excited to get, you know, this guy growing, get him established there. And that is the Philodendron Plow Manny. The Philodendron Ring of Fire. Now I know this is a really little guy, but like I said, I don't have the space. And I already have a pretty large jungle boogie that takes up space and a lot of pig plants that take up space. So I'm excited about this. This is now my second time owning one of these. I did buy a much larger specimen, again, from that shady plant shop. Within a matter of weeks, it was just dead. Looked at its roots, didn't even have roots in the pot it was in. Horrible buy, I think I spent like, 
maybe $110 on that plant at the time um, and just died. So this guy, its roots are healthy. It's in sphagnum moss, like I said. So hopefully by the end of summer, I'm giving updates on all of these guys and they are beautiful and growing by then. Is it really starting to snow? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Oh my God, what is that? A few moments later. Next guy. This is a begonia. I believe it's called like heady eye cross with a Rex. So I recently am giving begonias another chance. I have two begonias that I've been able to keep alive through winter. They're giving me new growth, they're thriving. So I decided to spend a little bit more money, not too much, I'm not getting crazy, but he's a little bit more, I guess, rarer of a begonia than your standard big box ones. So we will see, this guy is living in the cabinet. He will live in that cabinet forever. That is where the rest of my begonias are. So he will live in there. He is gonna lose this leaf. This leaf did come damaged in shipping, but it's okay. The rest of them do look pretty healthy. I'm gonna try not to touch him so much because every time I touch a begonia, the leaves die. But yes, this is the begonia Hedii Combo Rex, I believe. But when I search it up online, I can't really find it. So if you guys can tell me exactly what type of begonia this is, maybe that will help. But that is, yes, this begonia is another February plant baby added to the collection. Next uh, is this gorgeous Anthurium Magnificum. Um, I've had this guy for a few weeks now. He is thriving, looking gorgeous. He has a new leaf coming up down in here. I don't think you can see it on camera, but it has a new leaf growing. This guy's root system is insane. The buyer I got this from, I will I will make sure to find that and insert it here. The root system is insane. Even for a plant this size, I was expecting a way smaller root system and it's huge. I had like, it has to stay in this bigger pot because this root system is ridiculous, which I'm so happy about. Its leaves look a little sad, but I think it's just cause from shipping and it's just now finally getting acclimated to its new home. But that is this Anthurium Magnificum. I do have a few Anthurium Crystallinums that I grew from seeds that I cannot wait to get on my site and be selling and you know, have them thrive and grow. But yes, Anthurium Magnificum, February plant. So hitting stuff. And next we have the Philodendron Silver Mammy. And this plant is gorgeous. This one actually just came in today. So it does look a little sad. You know, I just put it in some moss and stuff, watered it to let it kind of grow. But this guy is beautiful. I was not expecting it to be this size. I actually was expecting a much smaller plant, especially for the price that I paid. And so I was happy that it is this size. It also has a new leaf coming right in there and then it's pregnant here and here. So I think that this guy come spring, once it gets acclimated, is going to be a beautiful specimen. There is something floating around me. A beautiful specimen. I'm so excited for him to like give me huge, hopefully give me huge leaves. I actually have a great spot for him. So I'm pretty excited for him to grow and thrive. And yes, that is the philodendron plow. No, this is the silver manny. Mammy, like look at the leaves. You can't really see the silver in the camera, but they it is stunning. I cannot wait for these mature leaves here. Like, come on now, look at her. You other girls could never. Next is something I told myself I probably would never buy, but I gave in and bought one only because I found such a small specimen. And I know, I know it can take forever to get to a decent size, but that is the Monstera Thai Constellation. I wanted a smaller plant because like I said, I don't have the space. I recently got rid of, of my very large Monstera that I had. I showed it on my Instagram before a couple months ago. I had nowhere to put it. It had grown so wide that it couldn't go anywhere, even though it was staked up and everything. So I recently separated it, gave the bigger pieces away and just kept a smaller one that now hopefully I can train to grow. So I did not want another large or plant. I wanted a small Monstera. I wanted a smaller Thai constellation. It has this gorgeous new leaf that is opening up already. And I'm so excited. Um, like I said, this is in the hutch. It, the coloration is beautiful. And on this new leaf, I can already tell the coloration is beautiful. 
I will definitely be posting this on Instagram once that opens up. But yes, that is a Monstera Thai constellation. Wish me luck with this guy. I know it can be troublesome, but I, I think I got it. I think I can have it under control here. Next, we're gonna move into some larger plants that I got in February. The first being this guy on this pole right here that you see. I did buy it from my local big box store. I'm sure if you went to your local uh, Home Depot, you've seen them in there. I looked on a huge one at the beginning of the month. And it is, I mean, it is, this is my Philodendron Imperial Green. This guy is beautiful. He is huge. This is a, as you see, he has a new leaf coming up. Since I bought him, he's put out a new leaf. So I'm assuming he is happy. He is gorgeous. He is stunning. I cannot wait for him to grow. He takes up like an entire corner with these leaves. I'm going to put him down because he's heavy. And it is beautiful. I love it. I have a philodendron kind of corner underneath my TV where they kind of all live, my larger ones. And he is loving it there. He has like, they have grow lights right on them. He is thriving. So that is my philodendron imperial green. I also have two of those. I have another one, but he's a little bit smaller. He just kind of hangs out. He's just kind of here. But this big mama right here, she's a big body bend. And, and I, oh, I love her. Next, oh, this guy, he's stunning. Come, look, look at it. Like, look at this. Look at this, look at this. He's huge. Like, look at, uh, look at this leaf size. Like, this is my head. Look at this leaf size. It is the philodendron. What are you again? Mexicanum. I almost forgot it was. Mexicanum. This guy is a gorgeous. I got him a few weeks ago. Um, he did not, he was about here. So he has all this new growth that has come in. Again, he lives in the corner with the rest of my philodendrons. He is stunning. I am going to probably start air layering all these aerial roots right here to prop to start getting some propagations from him. Um, because like I've mentioned space, I don't want him to get too big. I don't really, this new leaf I'm probably gonna let come and then maybe another one. And I don't want him to get too big. I don't want him to be too high. So I will start to propagate him, you know, selling some plants off, maybe giving them away. But yes, the Philodendron Mexicanum. Look at this guy. He is beautiful. Like these little, this leaf shape. Come on now. He's stunning and he is growing and thriving. A few moments later. And last but not least is my Philodendron. I think it's Mayoi. Is how it's pronounced, I think it's M-A-Y-O-I. Again, got this at a local big box store, my local Home Depot. And I love this plant. I am a lover of your low cost, budget friendly plants. I know I just showed you some plants that are pretty pricey, but I also love low cost plants. Some of my favorite plants are like your big box store philodendrons. And this trailing guy is gorgeous. I mean, look at him. When I bought, I've had him now, I might have bought him, oops, right before February. So I think I've had him for like a little over a month or a month. And when I bought him, he had like this mature leaf and these leaves. He has opened up, whoa, let's not knock stuff over. He has given me this beautiful leaf since then. He has a new large leaf opening up here and another leaf opening up back here, which is gorgeous. I cannot wait for this guy to trail. Um, I'm gonna try to find him like a long trailing pot because I know they are, you know, they like to spread out and grow and I want him to be able to kind of root these into the ground and grow stronger. So I am gonna find him like a long kind of pot to put him in along with my Philodendron Glorious, but Gloriosa, sorry. But yeah, so this is the last guy that I, um, I did also pick up a Philodendron Rojo um, I didn't feel like moving, but I'll like post a picture on Instagram or like insert a picture here um, on Philodendron Rojo. And I also got an Imperial Red Philodendron for my local big box stores. And I'll insert a photo here with that. But yes, those are my February houseplant haul, splurging list plants that I was so excited to share with you guys. Let me guys, let me know if you guys kind of bought anything this February. What are your houseplant goals for these coming months? What are you trying to add to your collection? Thanks for uh, watching my video and I'll see you next time.